Well, back down here today, the cabinet's all finished up. I came down last night, cleaned up the base with the uh, uh, screw plugs, and sanded it down. I took all my rails and styles and panels. I've marked them where I want them. Uh, I've marked the face on them. The face will go down. Uh, I've got my number one bid in. I'm fixing to cut the copes on the end of the uh, rails. I uh, did a little test cut and uh, on a scrap piece, and I like how it does so far. So, also last night, my main goal was to my little router table here. I had my little small router in there, and I had to take it out and put my my bigger router in because it has to use the half inch shank. Uh, this little table was not made for that router. It's a little bit of a pain, but I got it done. That's going to be a new goal one day: is a router table. This guy here, I got real cheap, a Ryobi router table. I really like it. It's a good size, a really good fence, dust collection. Um, come with the uh, uh, these little feather holders here, and uh, but and I thought of mounting it on a table, but uh, the way it's made on the bottom, I can't. I need for the square plate, and you cannot do that on here. It's got a round hole, and uh, I can't cut it out to put the square plate in. So. Uh, just gonna let that go and need a new router table one day. But let's get started uh, with these rails and styles. I'm getting excited. Well, I've got the ends of all my uh, rails cut. Did a beautiful job. Just did swap the bits out. Did a test cut on uh, the grooves that I'll be putting in. And boy, they line up and fit great. I, l I love this uh, raised panel set. Did a great job. One more thing about this router table I do like. The power switch here. Plug your router in the bottom. It's got two ports. Got my shop back over there on the other side plugged in and it's turned on when I hit the power switch it kicks them both on. I've yet to see another one of those like that. Uh, if I do swap out router tables, I may take this and put it on the new router table. So I am about to put the grooves on all my rails. Uh, the top and bottom ones will get one groove, the middle rail will get one on each side. And then I'll also do the uh, uh, the styles. Uh, I'll do a couple of these and I'll do one style here for you. But so far I'm, I'm very happy.
Well, I've got all my rails and styles cut. I'm happy with those so far, and I'm fixing to uh, do the panels. I've got my panel bed in here. Um, I've backed it up about a quarter inch from where you line it up at, and I'm going. I'll be doing two or three passes on these. Uh, I did one on a sample piece here, and I'll have to get that down a good bit. But so far, I like it. Now I'm making pass number two. We are slowly beginning there uh, after two passes, fixing to do pass number three, and after doing my little sample, I'll probably have to go four, but uh, I like to take it slow doing this.
Well, after four passes, I believe I've got it dialed in. That panel's done. And fits right in my groove just right. It fits well. It's a little snug, but uh, that's what a little sanding is going to take care of. And that panel's ready to go. I am making a double pass. Just that last one just cleans it up just a little. Gets rid of some of the burn marks from the, from the rough pass. So three more to go. I don't always drink sports drinks, but when I do, I drink Powerade Lime. Stay hydrated, my friends. Oh, it's already got about 95. Atlanta set a new heat record yesterday, but I want to get these doors together. Uh, I've got everything cut, the panels, the rails, the styles. Now I'm going to do some sanding. I uh, started to do a dry fit, but, and each part fits, but all together it's a little too tight for that. Uh, the sanding will take care of it. I'm going to go uh, 150, 180, and 220 grit on everything. I will have to do some hand sanding. These grooves, I will have to go through them. Uh, then I will get all this done. I'll start on the panels. Well, I've got all my uh, rails and styles done except for this one here. And I'm taking a little 150 sandpaper and catching that bevel on the edge. And a little 220. Don't take much. The router bits did a really good job. Then I got some folded up here and I want to clean the groove out a bit. 220 in that and hitting the ends just a little you need little splinters off of there now those are ready Okay, last panel. Got those three done. Hitting it with some uh, 150 to start with. Got a little block here, it fits that uh, groove just perfect.
really doesn't take much at all. Rider bits did a pretty good job. Right, that's some 180, and then I want to hit the edges a little bit with it. for the fan but it is over 100 degrees right now all right 220 Everything was sanded with a sander up to 220. Um, same thing here. But since these are exposed end grains, kind of, I'm going up to 320 with those. One more thing, I want to do 220 and just kiss the edge of the raised panel just a little, soften it a bit, and re check my marks here so I'll know which one goes where. I have a box of chalk and found one of these old teacher chalk holders, I love that. Okay, I am done. I'm gonna lay out the parts here for put a door together and we're going to get this thing done today. Well, finally the time of truth. I've got one of my doors laid out here with my two panels, my styles, my three rails. Yeah, I just did a dry fit. It's still very tight. Uh, but I believe we're going to be good to go. So, I'm going to start putting some glue on here and clamping this, this guy up. Get a bit of glue on the ends of these uh, rails. Just doing the one end right now. And I am going to put just a touch down in the center of the groove. I know the panel's not supposed to have any, but you can put a little bit in the center. as it is, I better work fast, this glue's going to dry up for me. bit in the ends of the styles because I know that's going to be real thirsty and drink it out. Okay.
Have the old rubber mallet enforcer. really doing a lot of talking right now. I've got to get this done. Good. Oh, that looks good. All right. Let me see if I can tap that down just a little more. I've miscalculated about a quarter of an inch on the overall length of my panels, which ain't too bad. about a quarter inch overhang on one of the styles uh, on the rails I'm sorry uh, I will trim that up on my table saw sled when it dries but for the time being I'm, I'm very happy that's not a bad my first raised panel doors a little blue squeeze out I think I'll wipe that up before it gets too bad and uh, I think we're 
Ready to go for the second door. Well, I have two doors put together. It's been a good day. It's hot. It's 105 degrees right now. Uh, I'm done. I'll let these dry up overnight. Tomorrow I'll come take the clamps off. Uh, I'm going to do a little sanding around the joints. Uh, the, the bottoms, I'm going to trim a quarter inch off the rails that are sticking out. They'll be a little short, but that's no problem. I actually made them a two and a quarter instead of two inches anyway. So I'd rather have it a little long than a little short. Um, but I can trim those up and I don't think that's too bad. If I'd cut my panels down by 1 16th on each end, that would have fit perfect. I uh, still could have went back and done that, but I just decided to trim off the rails later. Uh, I'm still deciding on my hinges, but I want to get, get these laid up on top of the cabinet when they're dry and see what's going to be my best bet there. I may go around the edges with a roundover bit. Uh, I haven't decided yet, but like I said, I want to see how they look on the cabinet. But uh, I enjoyed my bits. Uh, $35 off of eBay, that was not a bad deal. They're still very sharp. I know I can get several more projects out of them. That beats 200 bucks any day. Um, well, I believe I've earned a trip to the swimming pool and a cold beer. I'll see you next time.